Spectacular catch of a beautifully, brightly colored opa on board the Royal Star out of Fisherman's Landing in San Diego, California, USA. You see Diego Nuno and another crew member lift that beautiful fish on board. Opas are fully warm blooded. This fish was caught while the Royal Star was enjoying some great kelp patty yellowtail fishing. Magnificent catch, beautiful fish. Way to go to the guys on the Royal Star and the Let's Talk Hookup radio show. Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. Sunny, warm, a little bit breezy. There's a pretty good wind blowing on to the beach here, probably... 10 knots, 12 knots maybe. It's flowing a little bit, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And man, do we have a lot to talk about. I love that big Opa the other day on board the Royal Star for the Let's Talk Hookup radio show, guys. Pete Gray, I got to see him the other day down in San Diego. Actually, it's probably been a few months now. But Pete, I'm so happy for you guys and everybody on the Royal Star for such an outstanding catch. Alex, who runs the boat, Diego Nuno, and the rest of the crew who make so many good things happen on board the Royal Star. We're going to have a long-range update for you in just a moment. Some extraordinarily good kelp patty yellowtail fishing continuing. And the Coronado Islands, red hot. Not too bad at the San Clemente Island region either. There's some great fishing going on. And a big white sea bass hit. Man, you're going to hear all about that. It's from another guy that does it all the time. We'll cover the surf. And so much more. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, is that good? So good to be with you all. If you don't mind, hit that like button. We deeply appreciate it when you do that. Also, subscribe to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel. Tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content and share these videos with a friend or an enemy for that matter. Also, you can follow us on TikTok on Instagram, and on Facebook, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Always great to be with you on a gorgeous Tuesday morning. I hope you are all well, and I can't thank you enough for spending some time with us here at Friedman Adventures. A reminder to you all that we have a couple of great charters on the horizon. In September, we're out of Sea Forest Ward Fishing. couple spots left on a two-day trip on board the Apollo. Our last trip on board there was awesome with big blue fin and so much more. But around that time of year, you're going to start seeing that variety. You're going to start seeing perhaps the yellowfin and way more dorado and the kelp patty yellowtail and the bluefin tuna. It's when you get that variety. And incidentally, September is when you get your best weather months. And then we back that up with a great two-day trip on board the Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing, October 6th through the 8th. A couple of great trips. That is going to be, presumably, it's when the weather's the best, should be great weather and should be great options available to us, including big bluefin and yellows and dorado and so much more. Two great trips. Better text me if you want to get on one of those. All right, let's talk long range to start things off. And I'll tell you, the spirit of the adventure is down there at Alijos Rocks, where they had stupendous fishing on the yellowfin tuna to about 75 pounds. They also had some great nighttime fishing on big yellowtail. The rocks are known for that kind of a bite, and it's going very well on the Spirit of Adventure. Talk to the Independents, and they had extraordinarily great yellowtail fishing yesterday. Really excellent yellowtail fish fishing going on. They had some Dorado and Grouper kicked in there. They've already caught several nice yellowfin tuna. So the long-range scene out of San Diego right now is going along quite well. The guys that are on those eight-day trips going down the Baja Peninsula several hundred miles as the wind picks up a little bit here on the beach this morning, and it usually doesn't manifest itself until the afternoon. Some really good fishing on those eight-day trips. Now, guys on three- and four-day trips are still hanging around up here trying to catch that bluefin tuna. Let's talk big bluefin tuna. The Polaris Supreme had 30 over 100 pounds here on their most recent trip. They had a total of 50-some fish on a four-day trip. There is no doubt that that bite is off right now. And I, I know I sound like a complete idiot, which many people could argue that I am, saying that after I just told you 
30 fish over 100 pounds. That's an extraordinary trip. By any other measure, in any other year, we would say, God, I would die to be on that trip. And it was a great one. But overall, I'm trying to give you the overall picture. It's been tough to get those big fish to bite. They're around. You see them. They've just been off the bite. And the light switch will go on again. There's some kite fish during the daytime. And that's really fun fishing where you see those big bluefin tuna blow out on your bait. It's so exciting. There's been some fish like that. And there's been some nighttime fish. But overall, that big fish, which kind of hangs out up here around San Clemente Island, out there towards San Nicolas Island, has just kind of been off the bite. The new low ant was on a two-and-a-half-day trip. They had 14 bluefin tuna to 176 pounds. They had 14 yellowtail to go along with it. The Polaris Supreme on a four-day with 56 bluefin tuna. Some of the guys who were up here, and I'm talking like out of Long Beach and San Pedro that were running reverse day and a half trips are not doing that anymore so they ran those trips leaving in the daytime so they could fish at night now they're focused mostly on san clemente island and for good reason i'll get into that in a moment with you and then the other alternative and option available to you all is the kelp patty yellowtail down below san diego some guys are saying to themselves do i really want to go out there and try to make a hit on this bluefin tuna and scratch a couple fish or do i want to go find that kelp patty that's loaded with yellowtail and my God, has it been good. There's been some great hits. The Tribute with a great hit yesterday. A hundred plus on the kelp patty yellowtail. They were biting fish up to 20 pounds. You have some smaller fish, but the grade of kelp patty yellowtail this year has really been quite good. Nice, big, tough fish. 12 to 15 pounders prevalent. Fish to 20, some 8 pounders kicked in there. It really has been good. And several other boats getting in on it. Now, you have to have that lucky kelp or find that lucky kelp. So once again, some guys miss and don't catch that much and pick a few other species like some bluefin tuna and species like that. But for the most part, man, I tell you, you find that right kelp and it's game on. You want to have some 25 pound just in case they're a little finicky, in case you get a bluefin stop and they're finicky. But for the most part, you're using 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon. Don't forget GT4 fluorocarbon. You get more line for less money and you get 10% off when you buy that line at promarahi.com. Put in FA at checkout, Freeman Adventures, and you'll get an additional 10% off. You can't beat that. So make sure you're properly tackled up for this by bringing some lighter stuff, some smaller circle hooks. It's a good idea. Also, along with some larger ones, just bring a variety of tackle and then walk on board, make a friend with a crew member, and that will definitely help you out on this gorgeous, beautiful Tuesday morning. I send you all my best. The San Diego full day trip leaves in the morning, comes back in the afternoon. 24 yellowtail yesterday. Saw evidence of a lot of fish, but for whatever reason, it's a little bit off the bite, and they just didn't find that one that wanted to go wide open. 24 yellowtail, not bad, a little piece of action. And same thing over on the Grande in terms of seeing a lot of fish. And they stuck with the boat. I'm talking bluefin tuna, and they just were finicky as heck. And that'll make any captain want to pull his hair out. Let me tell you, they're trying so hard to make your experience extraordinary. And as far as I'm concerned, when they work that hard, they've already done that. If you catch some fish, that's a bonus for sure. Just seeing how hard and professional these guys are makes me so proud of this industry, the work ethic and everything else. Grande, five bluefin, two on a yellowtail, not bad there. Don't forget, if you want to go to Catalina Island, the El Patron has these beautiful limited low trips. They've been catching great calico bass over there at Catalina Island, and now more and more yellowtail getting into the picture. We've seen it out there with Captain Chris Isaac and the great crew on the El Patron out of Long Beach for fishing. Limited load, great fishing. Get on the El Patron by going to www Long Beach Sport Fishing. Dot org. What am I doing here, man? <laughs> Spilling my coffee and everything. Long Beach board fishing, the El Patron, some good stuff. All right, let's talk islands. We got to talk the Coronado Islands to start things out. Wow, what a bite. It has been so consistent. The numbers are great, and the quality of the fish has been excellent also. You do see some small fish, but you see a lot of that, oh, I want to say 12 to 20 pound yellowtail, and it's biting full speed. And I'm telling you right now, the Mission Bell has been tuned into that bite all season long. 104 
on the yellowtail yesterday. Buck four on the yellowtail. Doesn't get any better than that. They had a white sea bass. You know, most of the fish yesterday seemed to be on bait, but they will bite the surface iron and they will bite the yo-yo iron also. But the vast majority of those fish yesterday, 25, 30, even 40 pound fluorocarbon with a good hot sardine. And that was the way to get a bite and another huge day on the Mission Bell. Several other boats, including smaller boats, got in on that action and private boaters have been slamming those fish. Also here, James and Jason Williams, along with Bit. Hargaden, Bit Hargaden. These guys have been following me since 976 Tuna Days in 1985 when we got going on that. My God, that's a long time you boys have been around. In fact, they're in their 60s and they said the quality of the yellowtail there at the Coronado Islands was phenomenal. And they said the fish absolutely chewed on everything. Bait, yo-yo iron, surface iron, other methodologies working as well. It's just flat wide open and i'm so happy you boys had such a great trip and i can't thank you enough for sticking with me for decades and decades and decades man we're getting old aren't we so great fishing at the coronado islands we'll take you to san clemente island where there has not only been that big yellow tail early in the morning now you've got to get the kind of the horseshoe with you to have that fish hit you at the right time once they drop anchor over there you want to be dropper loop fishing with a live squid, and you want to be fishing at least 50 pounds, maybe even 60. Not all the yellows are huge, but they've had fish to over 40 pounds, over 40 pounds at San Clemente Island in that early morning bite. But also, you can kick some sea bass in on that. The Thunderbird has had some really great sea bass bites here recently. They're up there around 40, I think, on the white sea bass, maybe even a little tick better than that with 50 white sea bass and they're getting flashed on that big yellow tail also there's squid in the area and there has been for quite some time so that squid is going to attract predators and it's paying off with some really great fishing thunderbird has had some great trips here recently out there at the island and so have several other boats the amigo the fury guys that are fishing over there like the freedom out of 22nd Street Landing, those boys have been putting the wood to some really nice fish, and we continue to see excellent action. Freedom on their last trip with 20 yellowtail. They also had a couple of halibut and a couple of white sea bass. Those are the kind of scores that we're seeing out of that place. In daytime, you can catch a lot of nice calico bass, and then if you want sheepshead, whitefish, rockfish, if the guy running the boat decides to take you to do a little bit of that, that's been quite good also. So really nice fishing there at San Clemente Island. We mentioned that the El Patron's been having some good bass fishing at Catalina Island. That is absolutely true, but we're seeing more and more yellowtail show up there also, and that is a great sight. Enterprise had three yellows over there at Catalina Island, along with the bass and everything else that goes along with it. The Pursuit has been catching a few yellowtail and doing really well on the bass, and then all the other stuff, sheephead, whitefish, that kind of stuff. So that also, has been really, really excellent. It's so good to see that. So really nice fishing going on there. Channel Islands, before we get into it, don't forget the island spirit out of Ventura Sport Fishing. We love the island spirit. Captain Daniel Hadawi does such a great job. So does his crew and Bert in the galley. And they've got room for you tomorrow on the island spirit and the rest of the week. 805-676-3474. Fantastic fishing, great crew. Lots of fun. You can also book by going to Ventura Harbor, Ventura, pardon me, VenturaSportFishing.com. VenturaSportFishing.com. Get on the island spirit. Kids fish free on Sundays. Great stuff. Give them a call right now. Tucker McCombs and the Endeavor. Man, he is right at the top of the White Sea Pass Pyramid because he keeps cranking some big scores. In fact, the other day I said, we haven't seen a score here recently unless somebody's sitting on one and keeping it quiet. Endeavor, another big day, a two and a half day trip, 41 white sea bass, nice hit. And of course they got a lot of other stuff to go along with that catch with the rockfish, occasional halibut scores. It has been phenomenal at times on the white sea bass up there in the Channel Islands. You know, I think when we start to compare these scores that we're getting this year to the previous years where it's just been central and every single day where you see these big numbers of sea bass coming out, we have a tendency to say, well, it's not as good as it was last year. Well, perhaps you could make that case, but it's pretty darn good fishing. I'll tell you that, and the endeavor out of Ventura Sport Fishing just keeps 
cranking them. You're fishing dropper loop, 40 pound fluorocarbon. At times it's a night bite, at other times it's an early morning bite, and some other times they're during the daytime, they kind of run and gun. They look around, try to sonar those fish, get on top of them. Tucker says drop, and you better be Johnny on the spot. Sometimes you're switching over to a different rig when you're running around the island in that short water, but most of the time it's going to be dropper loop fishing. Easy to do, fun to do, and some really excellent fishing. Aloha Spirit up there had two white sea bass, limits the sheep's had a halibut, 27 barracuda. There's great variety for the other guys up there in that neck of the woods. Speed Twin had very good calico bass fishing in the Coral Sea out of Santa Barbara. Had five white sea bass, so nothing wrong with those kind of scores. Let's look at our half and three quarter day trips down in San Diego. We had really good calico bass fishing previously. Right now, it is pretty slow on the bass around San Diego and Oceanside. You know, I mean, they do catch some shorts up to Dana Wharf, that whole southern region, but uh, in terms of the legals, it's been a little bit on the tougher side here recently. Hopefully, that's going to kick back into gear here very, very soon. And once again, fishing with a lighter fluorocarbon, 15 pound when you're fishing bass, will pay big dividends for you. So make sure you're doing that. Up here in this neck of the woods, San Pedro, Long Beach, some much better sand bass fishing for several boats here recently. And it is game on right now on the sand bass. Stay with that lighter fluorocarbon to get a bite. That will make all the difference in the world for you. But nice fishing, the native sun with a nice hit on the sand bass. You cannot beat that. And also we saw some good fishing on the Monte Carlo. They had some really excellent sand bass fishing going on. Native sun had limits on the sand bass yesterday out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. And we kind of covered what's going on up there in the local scene with the island spirit. You know, there's a mix of sand bass, calico bass, barracuda, occasional yellowtail, occasional halibut. If any of that stuff doesn't bite, you've got the rockfish to back it up. And there's not a darn thing wrong with that. Big fish bait and tackle down on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. That's bait central for say, surf fishermen. Get the worms you need. You can get everything you'll need to have a successful outing in the surf where there's good yellowfin croaker fishing going on right now. There's been a lot more corbina showing up occasional halibut here and there, occasional bar perch. And I'm talking from San Diego all the way up to Ventura. Nice fishing in the Santa Monica Bay. We've seen some good corbina fishing there. And also up there around the El Segundo area, really good corbina fishing going on there. Don't forget big fish bait and tackle. They give away a free custom, beautiful surf fishing rod every single month. All you have to do is walk in the store, buy their ruler, buy their ruler, use that ruler for the rest of the year. You're in the derby. You can win that with the biggest fish, and there's a new prize every single month. This month, spot fin croaker. Next month, not sure what it'll be, but they'll let you know at Big Fish. We'll also let you know here on the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. There's a lot going on. I love the island fishing right now. Clemente and the Coronado Islands cranking out good numbers. And Catalina with the El Patron, that's good stuff. The island spirit doing a great job up there out of Ventura Sport Fishing. You should jump on with them here really, really soon. And then that big op on the Royal Star, that's great stuff. Tribute with a huge yellowtail score on the kelps. There's a lot going on on an absolutely gorgeous day in Southern California where one has to feel truly blessed to be standing here on this beach and truly blessed to have fans like you so loyal and so great. And I can't thank you enough. All right, my friends, have a great Tuesday, and I hope to see you really, really soon.